The wilderness is a very harsh environment and shelter is crucial to survival. Thousands of men, women, and children ventured into the interior of North America in the 18th century. It was a wilderness, a wilderness without any support structure, without any shelter. We had to build these shelters quickly just to survive. There were many reasons for coming out into the wilderness in the 18th and 19th century. Surveying land, trading with the Native Americans, hunting, long-term hunting, where they would come out and hunt for an entire season and then take back the hides at the end of that season. Very lucrative. And of course, setting up homesteads and farms and houses, uh, getting ready to settle the land. Catherine Strickland Parr writes in the early 19th century, the shanty is a sort of a primitive hut in Canadian architecture. It is nothing more than a shed built of logs, the chinks being the round edges of timbers being filled with mud, moss, and bits of wood, and the roof is frequently composed of logs split and hollowed with an ax placed side by side so that the edges rest on each other.
these huts and cabins were built of the simplest materials that they had available on hand. Small logs, uh, easy to cut, easy to haul and handle by just one person. The bark of the trees, uh, just incredibly useful to use as a shingling material. And of course, you can even strip off the inner material and use it as primitive rope. You could build these structures out of nothing but what you had available on hand, an 